What do we have in here? Another box. What do we have in this box? Another box. What do we have in this box? Crippling disappointment. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend, and welcome back to Let's Make a Starship. So, um, last time where we left off, we were building the Starship Enterprise, NCC 1701, no bloody A, B, C, or D, or E, or F. So yeah, I've done a little bit of work since last time. I, uh, I fixed this part, so it's actually, uh, concave now. I fixed these guys as well that I, for whatever reason, just couldn't figure out. Um, but I got it and fixed it. Um, we're getting quite the um, a broken fillet here. I don't know where that's from. But actually, I think I do know what that's from. Let's, let's take care of this actually right now. Uh, 30. Yeah, that's, that was the broken fillet right there. Okay, cool. Fix that. All right, so let's get to work, shall we? So today, hopefully we're doing the nacelles. This is gonna be interesting and they have a lot of detail that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to capture or want to capture. I'm kind of going for a basic shape here to our planes and we're going to have to do a new plane, I do believe. Um, and it's going to need to be 18 inches. There we go. And then we're going to have to activate a sketch on that plane. Turn ourselves to it. Hide the planes. How big around are these? These are like three and a half inches in radius. Almost even with the top here is the center of these guys. Maybe a little bit higher up. It's so hard to tell. Do I have a straight edge? Kind of. So almost like even with like here-ish. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a construction line. And let's... Uh, no. Let's do that, right? No, no, it shouldn't be a construction line. It should just be the regular, just just a regular line because I'm super smart. Now, how far across are the, is this? So we're looking at 185 centimeters. That looks like too long. Maybe it's not though. No, that's way too long. What's my... Oh no, it's not. No, it's... All oh, right, that's just a... Just, just barely too long, but it's not... Well, no, that's... It's about right, actually. I always forget how gigantic the nacelles are on the uh, original Enterprise. Okay. So when we are like 20, 18, about like that. And then as far as this goes, I don't know. We can adjust this if we need to. Okay. So as I've said before, I'm literally just eyeballing a lot of this. I have a scale brought up a little bit, um, but I... It's not a CAD drawing, it's just kind of a um, scale model drawing with a... It's got a scale bit on the bottom that I have then used Photoshop to just copy and paste all over the place to try to figure out what size everything is. So, um, it very much helps to be multi-skilled in certain things. Eight centimeters-ish. Maybe like five. 
then vertical there and there. There we go. And then line that goes up by like, no, oh, like five millimeters. And then there we go. I forget how big of a scale we're at here. And then, so this one will be tricky because like about like that and then angle about like that. Herein lies the tricky part is knowing this line, right, is going to be probably the hardest part of getting this nacelle right because if I don't get this line right because it is a slant it's just barely a slant and it's kind of hard to tell how far down this slant because it's like I go like that maybe uh, coincident those two I don't know and then horizontal that with which one was it that guy there we go. I don't think that's enough. What if I horizontal that with that? That might be perfect. Okay. And then I need to uh, revolve. Okay. Axis. Interesting. Before I've seen um, people be able to just grab oak. Oh, do I have to show this? Show the sketch. Um, shoot view sketches alt s good to know um and my keyboard commands are not going to be the same as yours um is it because they've shown the sketch yes it is that is how it works okay and then alt s okay we have a basic shape here very basic shape um we have some ridges that are cut out like here ish should i have done those in the in the one original sketch maybe i should have hang on let's go back and then let's go convert to reference figure I think that looks a little bit better. Um, okay, so from here, new sketch on this new plane that we made already. It needs to swoop like that, like that, and then okay. I need tangency there. Okay. And then I need uh, a 
start and radius tangent. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I want, not tangency. Perpendicular. Duh. About like that. Or so. Ten and a half inches. I'm sorry. Three, four and a half inches. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's definitely not, it's definitely, um, maybe this isn't tangent. That definitely looks perpendicular. There also could be, and it actually might be more like that. There could be a line in there too. Let's, um, let's just break that. This line needs to be about like, I don't know, 45, about like that, I think. That looks about right. Yeah, I do need a radius, okay. Uh, is that 85? And then I need this one, 80. There we go. And then, nice and simple. And then we shift E oh, through all. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. Um, now we need yet another sketch on our new plane here. This one should actually be quite easy. Hopefully. Um, actually, hang on. This cuts too deep. It's not that deep. It is deep, but it's not that deep. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, where were we? Activate a sketch on that plane. Already centered to the plane, I believe. We need line, boink, boink, vertical, boink, coincident center of the arc with that and then I'm going to vertical that make these tangent and then vertical there we go and then this guy can be much smaller 25 ish cool Sweet, that I think might work. Alt S and then X and then sketch 17 around that axis. Okay. I don't. Nope. Alt S. That, um, help. Alt S is what it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay, so now. There we go, there we have it. We're looking all right here. Um, what other detail do I want to do? I mean, there's some massive bits of detail here that I don't know if I will be able to do any justice to. Um, the hardest part I think I'm going to have, hardest time I think I'm going to have is um the thing that goes here the kind of pillar guy let's think here okay so they're definitely like 90 degrees apart and they're just they're just like straight line guys 250 from the that spot we need a plane that way Okay, so we're sketching on yet another new plane. It's just a matter of getting it lined up about right, horizontal there. Let's do this angle. Again, just eyeballing, but between the two of them, it looks like, between the two of them, it looks like 90 degree apparently it's not because 
otherwise that would be um 45 and if it was 45 it would be like that okay well maybe it's close to 90 maybe it's like maybe it's like 80 degrees so let's do 40 degrees that is much more reasonable 37 very interesting it does definitely look like 90 it doesn't look this thin so maybe they're not far enough out but they look to be i don't know maybe from all of my various um guesswork it's just more and more off so i don't know okay that doesn't look too bad about like that there we go and actually how like thick is this guy it's only about maybe 105 that's a bit nuts e 105 reverse no that's really about all there is there like, it is not a very thick... Maybe it is thicker. Let's make it, um... Uh, 30. There we go. That is a little bit better. Okay, guys. And now, for the moment of truth, we do have to actually show our planes... We're going to have to mirror that and that along that. Oh, and we also want to mirror that and that. Uh-oh. That's not showing up on this side now. Uh-oh. Man, it really does not like being mirrored. Okay, let's just go without it, and then I'll just do a new one over on this other side. Um, or mirror that one on its own. Um, so let's go ahead and just mirror that, and that, and that, along that axis for that plane. Interesting, it still gets rid of it. Um, Alibre... That's a bit of a bug there, huh? This revolution does not like to be to have anything alongside it mirrored. No errors. Can I now um mirror that? along okay now my hotkeys aren't working my p my p key to show and hide my planes is not working anymore that's Okay, well, hopefully it fixes if I relaunch. Save this and relaunch, I guess. See? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Anyway. Guys, I think we have what I'm going to call good enough. I think these are slightly, the nacelles are slightly too high. Just barely. But, regardless, I think we've done a good job. And um, I think it looks good. For just fooling around in CAD, this looks really good. I know there's some missing detail. A lot of little tiny missing features. But, for a fun thing to do in CAD, 
I think we we nailed it. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel, every day is a weekend. Go check out my Discord, my Twitch. Check out weekdayweekend.net, and I'll see you next time next weekend. Bye.